right, today we're having a look at Owl Rescue by Godsmack NL. Alright, so here we are in Owl Rescue by Godsmack NL and the Lost One NL, and we're just gonna jump right in. Uh, looks like a, well, like we can see, it's a, a pixel kind of thingy here. I'm not sure exactly if it's a game, like a level, a uh, mini game or not. We did get to see the controls. Hello, mister. My wing is damaged, so I cannot get to my babies that are in the top of this tree. Can you help me get them down? I would love to. And uh, when you chop with X, do not hold direction at the same time. Sure, Ms. Owl, I'll chop this tree down in a jiffy and get them down for you. They don't call me Justin Timberman for nothing. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, feel so lost without my babies. I, we do need this to move along a little bit. I, uh, sure, so we're gonna, I guess, chop down the tree Get and then... Ready. I'm gonna do that thing? Let's do it. Go. Let's save these owls. Um, wait, what? Oh, because it fell down on my head! Oh, I got it! Hi, skip the intro. Get ready. Go! Oh, I kind of like this, actually. Go. It looks, I mean, very much like a, an 80s game that I would grow up playing, so... Now we want to be on the outside. Okay, we got this. Now I wonder how tall this tree is going to be. We probably want to get things going a little bit quicker. We want to save these babies. You're doing a good job, Justin. Thank you. I love... Darn it! Gosh darn it. <laughs> we deserve that. We can do it this time. No, but the pixel art looks really nice and smooth. There was a really cool, like, uh, an... There was a really cool animation that started everything off that... W w not about the, the level itself, but about the twin brothers, uh, gaming duo, creating duo, I suppose we'd say. Okay. Two, three... So they've definitely got some chops in that direction. God, this, it feels like going back to childhood and, and playing. No, watch out. I will keep it up. I will, I will save your babies, I swear. Darn it! I, it feels like a, yeah, just a ready. touch of lag between, like, actually hitting the button and the input no. being recognized. That might just be me. I don't know if I can lay that on the level. But, gosh! Hi! We... Yes, we know your wing is damaged, Miss Owl. I'm gonna change the color of the animal. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. So, oh, so not change the color of the animal, change the color original or black and white. Now it feels like something that's on the Game Boy. Like the original old school size of a shoebox Game Boy. I see, I wasn't pressing then. Hi. Pink Emerald. Okay. Sure, why not? Get ready. This is the one that's going to win it for us. We got this. How tall could this tree be? At least the trees are randomly generated. So it's a different experience each time. Maybe I just got to get into a, a rhythm here. Rhythm usually helps in these games. I have no rhythm, though, is the problem. I mean, and that is a big problem. What? Why did you... Justin, no! We're never going to save these babies. I, I feel terrible. But I am I am enjoying what I'm playing so far. Even if I'm doing terrible at it. Okay, just take it slow and steady. Even if this dude's name is Justin Timberman. So like right there, it felt like I hit the button and there was like a couple of seconds of pause before I actually did the swing. So I don't know what's going on with that. Unless it's just trying to emulate even better that 1980s feel. My life and my babies depends on you, my hero. I will be the hero that this world neither needs nor wants, but it's the one that it's gonna get. Oh, we only got 28 seconds. I knew you got the strength for it. We're working on it, owl lady. We're working on it. Where it? Darn it! No, your babies die! And we should probably, we don't have enough time to go back into it, but we, we'll go back to the hub and, you know, we'll 
You see, we'll, we'll see you there. We're gonna talk about this. And we're back. And I'll rescue by Godsmack NL and the One NL, which is twin brothers creations. And I'd say it's a, it's a yellow square. It's not a green circle, although it's got a lot going for it. I think it's, it is a bit too limited in the end to be to be a green circle. One of the big things that I did like about the level was the presentation. Uh, it really nails that kind of retro pixel art feel. Something, for example, that we see in uh, Death Road to Canada, and it it looks really nice and it looks really smooth and it kind of moves and it flows in a very similar way to uh, games that I remember from my own childhood back in the 1980s and that was mostly kind of cool. Uh, it did have uh, some downsides to it. There was something that we had mentioned and it's a little bit hard to show in pips but I felt like there was some issue with the way that inputs were being handled that there was almost like if I tapped the button too quickly it was queuing up uh, axe strokes and sometimes it would make axe strokes happen when I wanted to be moving out of the way instead and caused a couple of deaths in the video itself. Of course some of those deaths in the video were simply uh, trying to talk, think about the level and actually play the level at the same time so I'm going to put a lot of those deaths on myself. Uh, when I was actually just playing myself and I, I wasn't doing any commentary for it, it was a, a lot easier to get through and I was able to beat it twice without uh, dying in the end which was which was nice. I did appreciate that. I, I was able to beat my, my score of 1 minute 9 seconds with 1 minute 4 seconds. I don't think that's a particularly great score, but you know, it's what we ended up with, so that's fine. Appreciate that there is a scoreboard on the level that we can judge ourselves against other players. I actually need to check that out. I should see how well I did compared to everyone else. Um, I like the way that they, they put in different filters. On the, the colors, you had the original color scheme, you've got a black and white, there's a pink and emerald, and a yellow and orange, and a bunch of other color schemes there. They don't really do much as far as you know changing the gameplay or altering anything, but they do give a different look to it. Something that does add to the replay value, I felt, was the fact that the tree is ran randomly generated each time. So it's not just a matter of memorizing, okay, there's going to be three branches on the left and then there's going to be three branches on the right. It's going to mix up every time, so it is a little bit of a challenge to kind of do better and to beat your score uh, the second time through, the third time through. So there is a, a little bit of replayability there. Although the game itself is simple enough, I don't know exactly how much replayability we can say is actually in uh, the creation and uh, really it's going to come down to how much do you want to beat the top score uh, you're not going to really see anything new in the level I did like the way that uh, Miss Owl was yelling out encouragement to you throughout the uh, the level itself throughout the game itself I thought that was kind of cool I, I like the the writing that they did for it although Justin Timberman is you know, it's a little bit iffy iffy but even still I mean it had a it had a charm to it it had a nice presentation to it and I like that and something else that I I liked and I mentioned in the video was the um, the actual introduction to the level and it was kind of like a, a splash page a title page for a uh, uh, twin Brothers, I think it was Twin Brothers Gaming, Twin Brothers uh, Creations, and it was really, really nicely animated. It was really, really nicely put together, and, and that alone I thought was a little bit worth the price of admission. Uh, the level is still a relatively recent level. It's got about 300 plays on it, I believe, so far. Uh, hopefully it'll see more. It, it's not exactly an example of the robustness of dreams, but to see something that is pretty much different from a lot of the other levels that we've looked at, and to see that handled really well is a nice thing indeed. I like the idea that, that dreams can be a showcase for and can be a, a housing place for a, a very, very wide variety of game types, you know, even down to the, the simplest clicker type games, you know, up into, you know, really sprawling and vast RPG or adventure style games. And we've, we've seen a few of those on stream. So I think that, that Owl Rescue definitely has a place in the Dream community. And I, I look forward to seeing more from uh, the Twin Brothers, from Godsmack, and from the uh, the Only One NL. I, I have a feeling I just ruined the name on the last shot there, but such is life. I apologize if I messed up your name. I didn't write it down in my notes. 
But a relatively simple level to go about, a relatively simple takeaway to go about. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope that you do give Owl Rescue a, a couple of plays and and see if you can't beat my score. I'm I'm sure that you probably can. It can't be that difficult, but. It does do it for us here this go about. So from me, Disco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigasamu, ryotasai, and nara see you, and ciao.